welcome back to Javier Valentino's studio. Now, the last time you were here with me in this studio with this bride, we were actually here for her demo. Now, remember, when you do a demo, this is an opportunity to come into the space and to see a small mock-up, just a little bit of a hint, a gesture of what the wedding itself is actually going to look like. After we made all the decisions and after my beautiful bride sat there and said, I can't be surprised. I need to know everything in advance. I want to select everything. We actually changed all of it. So the wedding itself is still going to be white on white, but we really took everything that she had seen and that she had loved and we added a little bit of edge to it. I always want my weddings to be timely and timeless. I want them to look like they're so very much of the moment, but it's really important to me that they look good five years, 10 years, 50 years from now. This is a moment that's gonna benchmark their entire history. So even though we ended up taking a lot of the things and changing them, the fact of the matter is that this space really became a place that Megan just loves. We've got rose walls, we've got moss walls, we've got beautiful drapes and gorgeous furniture. And so I thought this is the perfect place for us to do her bridal shoes. Now, I am a huge believer in doing a bridal fashion shoot, and I want to do it for a couple of reasons. Number one, the dresses on the forms are so exquisite. When you hang a dress just on a hanger, it doesn't have any life to it. You need a dress to kind of be filled out in order to appreciate the construction and the design and how intricate all of the elements of the pieces are. But what it does for the bride is it gives her an opportunity to be in full hair and makeup, to put the dresses on, and to really beautifully document the day in a way that feels editorial, in a way that feels like it was ripped from a fashion magazine, because these aren't your everyday dresses. These are couture pieces, and they deserve to have their own moment. They're almost like another person that's at the wedding. Each dress has a completely different personality. So when she's here and she's getting hair and makeup done, we have Paper Bag Beauty. They're gonna be with us all weekend. This lets her do hair and makeup to put on the dress and to look at herself in the mirror and say, yes, this is exactly how I wanna look tomorrow. So that tomorrow she doesn't have to worry about like, am I posing, did we get pictures, am I rushing? Instead, tomorrow she's gonna be able to really connect to the emotion that she feels. She's gonna be able to be really present and she's not rushed to stand or sit or move. We're gonna get all of those photos today. Megan and Casey are with their family and friends up in the Gigi room here at Joe's Stone Crab. I'm gonna shoot back over to the Waldorf Astoria and make sure that our setup is still going strong. And then we're taking the entire group, all 50 people, over to the Bellagio for one epic shot in front of the fountains before my team and I go back into that ballroom and transform it from what it was to what it's going to be, which is a beautiful white wonderland. 